are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, January the 10th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. We've got a wintry mix in the forecast for tonight. Uh, the devil's in the details, so let's uh, get into it this morning, starting with an upper air pattern across uh, North America, showing a deep trough now extending from the upper Midwest, uh, curving back into the southwestern United States there. And uh, that is energizing a surface low this morning. Uh, you can see it located uh, over south Texas near McAllen. This low is going to track uh, eastward and northeastward across the northern Gulf of Mexico over the next 36 hours, uh, landing near Panama City Monday night. And uh, if you've been um, watching this video or been on this blog for very long, you know these are the kind of patterns that can produce wintry precipitation in the deep south. Now, this morning, snow is breaking out in West Texas, eastern New Mexico, parts of the Oklahoma Panhandle winter storm warnings, watches, winter weather advisories cover a wide area this morning from eastern New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, western Oklahoma, through Texas into Louisiana, and as far east as western Mississippi. Now, snow is falling this morning in places like Roswell, New Mexico, into west Texas, uh, places like Hobbs, Laredo, Midland. It's going to intensify as we go through the morning in places like Abilene and San Angelo. Um, the system pushes east, uh, grazes the Fort Worth, Dallas area, maybe two to three inches in Fort Worth, an inch in the Dallas uh, area. Uh, Waco and uh, areas uh, there between Waco and Dallas could get two to four inches of snow. Tonight that snow will be spreading eastward. Places like College Station, Tyler, Shreveport, Ruston, Monroe, and northern Louisiana will be reporting one to three inches of snow. And it will make it into western Mississippi. Uh, they'll probably pick up about an inch of snow in places like Greenville, Greenwood, Vicksburg, and Starkville. Some of that snow will get into western Alabama after midnight. Here we see the snow progressing uh, across uh, north-central Texas at noon. Uh, by 6 p.m., that snow is getting ready to move into uh, western Louisiana, covering much of the northern part of Louisiana uh, here at midnight tonight and into the Mississippi Delta. Now, by 3 a.m., the GFS shows uh, uh, some rain, generally in the I-59 corridor, but it's going to be near freezing. And everything, the impacts of the system depend on timing and temperature. Um, it's coming in at a very um, opportune time for wintry precipitation because it'll be the coldest part of the day, 3 to 6 a.m. Uh, as a start. Temperatures should be above or, or at or below freezing uh, areas from Demopolis, Selma to Alex City to the northwest. They're going to be really close, 30 to 33 degrees. So depending on your temperature and the atmospheric profile, um, that'll dictate what sort of precipitation you have. Uh, but in the I-59 corridor, first starting in Sumter and Greene counties uh, and gradually spreading northeast, a wintry mix. That's going to be um, some sleet, some snow, and rain, potentially uh, potentially freezing rain in, uh, in some of those areas. Now, the rainfall amounts are going to be fairly light. Now, northwest of that, and we'll get into impact areas in just a minute, but from northern Pickens, through Lamar, Fayette, Walker, Coleman, and points to the northwest and northeast all the way up to DeKalb County, it's going to be mostly snow. But it should be less than a half inch of snow, and it should fall mainly in elevated areas. Now, that doesn't mean we couldn't have a few travel problems in those areas, even in the areas where we've got the wintry mix. Now, this is 6 a.m. Monday morning, uh, showing a mix of rain and snow uh, in the Birmingham area. Uh, generally rain, there's still a, a freezing rain, sleet, snow mix with snow to the northwest. By 9 a.m. Monday, um, the precipitation is sort of beginning to concentrate to the south, except for some patches of snow over north and north central Alabama, um, and that could be contributing to those light accumulations. But as we go to noon and beyond, in most places, the temperatures will warm up enough for the precipitation to fall as rain. 
Now, here's our best forecast at this point. We'll be revising it as we go through the day today, so pay attention to that. But for areas basically, as I said, from northern Pickens, Lamar, Fayette, Walker, Coleman, uh, up into Marshall, DeKalb, Jackson, and, and the Tennessee Valley, up to a half inch of snow. That's going to be a dusting on elevated surfaces. Minor, tra minor travel issues through noon. Remember, this is after midnight tonight through noon on Monday. Now, for for the rest of central Alabama, for parts of central Alabama there, really from Demopolis, Tuscaloosa, Selma, Birmingham, Calera, uh, Talladega, Pell City, Anniston, Heflin. Um, it looks like a wintry mix between 3 and 9 a.m. changing over to rain. So we could be monitoring for some travel problems between 3 and 9 on Monday, um, particularly on bridges and overpasses. But everything else should be fine. Uh, ground temperature is pretty warm and I just don't think we're going to have major problems. To the southeast of that, it should fall all as rain. Now by noon, here you go, we changed over to rain, and then most of that rain is out of the state by 6 p.m. Monday night. Tuesday, high pressure is building in, and um, that sets the stage for a dry week. We get a reinforcing shot of cool air as a, a dry front comes through on Friday. And our next system, deja vu all over again, is here next Sunday night. Look at that, another rain wintry mix potential. Um, and if we go out to voodoo country at the end of the forecast period, broad low pressure, uh, Friday night the 22nd into Saturday morning the 23rd, bringing a, a good soaking rain to the southeast. Now, the temperature roller coaster is going to be in effect. We'll be um, today just middle, lower middle 40s. Um, have a hard time getting out of the 30s tomorrow. Probably 40 is about all we can hope for in the I-20 quarter. Uh, lower 40s to the south, won't get out of the 30s to the north. You can see 40s on Tuesday um, uh, with a pretty decent freeze by Wednesday morning, but temperatures return to the 50s uh, before that reinforcing shot of cool air keeps us in the 40s for um, Friday and Saturday. Uh, cool with the um, uh, rain moving in Sunday night and then uh, a cool down behind that system. Uh, got a real treat for you. Uh, we recorded a special Weather Brains um, yesterday morning with the uh, famous Tom Skilling from WGN in Chicago, one of the most famous meteorologists in the country. It is an absolutely priceless 90 minutes of, uh, of chat with Tom. You won't want to miss it. Um, it's out there now on YouTube. Um, it'll be shown on all the normal um, you know, digital channels on Monday night at 8 o'clock. Uh, and then you'll be able to pick it up um, late Monday night, early Tuesday morning uh, at weatherbrains.com and on all of the normal podcast distribution channels that we use like iTunes and Stitcher. You will not want to miss it. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the uh, 10th of January. I'll have notes on the blog, frequent updates throughout the day and tonight and into Monday morning. Um, we'll have an update on the forecast, of course, constantly, but uh a complete update at noon and um, James will be back in the morning with the videos and uh, of course Scott will be here next Saturday I'll see you next Sunday and until we sit in this seat again as I always tell you keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from plumbing experts tankless water heaters are easy convenient and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call plumbing experts today